guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Allie. We live off grid in the woods of Kentucky and we have a beautiful weekend. So we are getting all the projects started. Not done, but started. So there's lots of things I want to get done. Like one, clean up over here. Dylan has already chainsawed up this tree. We just need to split the wood, stack it. I wanna get all that taken care of and put away. And then on this side of the house, we have that huge tree down that we took down that was dead that we were worried was gonna fall on the house. We need to take it down for the addition. So we need to chop that up, move it, and get that stacked. This front yard here is a mess because we had a dead tree down and we just put it in the gully here to burn. So we've been trying to burn it. We tried to burn it yesterday, but it wouldn't catch. So we're gonna try again today. And hopefully we get a good, nice roaring fire and then we can add all the debris that's around the front yard and burn it while it's going. Then you saw us yesterday. Dylan cut down all the leftover poplars from when we got the land cleared and we cut all those down took off all the mini branches and we're gonna make a fence and a garden and I think we're gonna go work on that now while the weather is nice and Dylan ran eight miles this morning so he doesn't want to split wood just yet Dylan took down 11 trees that the uh, guy left <laughs> for no reason. So these are all poplars and we cut off the majority of the little branches and I'm going to try to use it as a fence. I know poplar is not an ideal wood for outside use because it's not rot resistant or anything but we're just going to use it as a fence to try to keep the neighbor's cows out because sometimes they make their way over here and I just want it to look cute. I'm sure within the time that it would rot, within years, we'll have another plan of something we're doing. It's about nine of them maybe. We need to use them for posts and then, you know, poles, so we'll see. And then we've got all these piles of sticks and mulch that we need to eventually burn, but I think they're gonna be hard to burn because they're very moist at the bottom because it's mixed with mud. So we'll see when we get to that. Originally, I was going to put the garden over here, but I'm thinking I'm going to put it in this flat spot right here because this is like the most flat it will be. I mean, that's probably all the bigger garden I need because of my success rate so far on gardens. I should probably just stick to this much. And then my biggest reason for none of my previous gardens working very well is because I didn't have enough water to water the garden ever. And Kentucky summers are really hot. And so this way, since we're over here, we're down by the pond. The pond is actually higher than where we are here. So we're gonna run water from the pond to water the garden. The pond is spring fed. So I don't think it'll be too big of a concern like using too much of the water from the pond. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maggie! A long day as a lion, a heart attack. Are you ready to get to work today? 
Are you ready to get to work today? So when we were deciding what kind of fence to do, I don't want to spend any money because we're trying to save all of our money for the addition. So we're going to use the poplars down there. And I'll put up a bunch of different fences that I saw on Pinterest, um, like DIY fences with, you know, trees. And so we're going to try, we're going to try um, this one method. I will show you. Say, Dad, look. All right, I'm thinking like right here. It's about one o'clock. Here's the sun. In the summer, the sun comes back more this way. So it'll be full sun. Come on, do you even live off grid? You want help? Is that the thing? <laughs> Maggie, where are you trying off to? This is so exciting! It looks like a fence! Wow! It's so funny because you guys are like, how do you and Dylan get along so well during these projects? But most of the time, we are literally giving each other the silent treatment because we can never, because we can never agree on how to do things. Are you recording? Hey. All right, we're gonna have to call it quits for today getting a bit cold but we have one side of the fence two side of the fence we just need the back of the fence there I love it hey right, guys it is Sunday day three we're having a very long day over here Rowan has been teething 
and I'm tired. I'm sure Dylan's tired. But we will push through because it is a glorious day and maybe being outside will make us all happier. Are you ready, Mr. Roan? <laughs> All right, so here's all the land we got cleared. If you have not seen that video, it's on my channel. But we're gonna grab some of these smaller poplars to finish off the fence. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. All right, here's the process we came up with for the poles. So originally we dug the hole, but we really didn't need to dig the hole because we used the mallet to get them in anyways. We have two logs. Is this ridiculous? Yes, it is ridiculous. Is it free? Also, yes. So, the only thing I bought to do this whole fence was this wire, which was like $9. I got, it's 75 pound, it can hold 75 pounds, and it's 100 feet, so it's like nine bucks. What I do is I, where are the screws? Take the screw gun, put in two screws. Screw gun. Screw gun. Ugh. Okay. Should have worn pants that don't have holes in the knee. Now, where do you think the drill bit went? I feel like I left it stuck in a screw. There it is. I was right. I don't have my measuring device. Just find a stick that's the same length. We measure that. Is that Maggie? We measure that. From so we're gonna guess tonight by about right there. So I'm just gonna put a screw in each log like that. And like these. We take the wire and we wrap it around. And Dylan holds up the log for us. And we twist. We cut. We set it on there, and it holds the log up. And then we do the next one. All right, we're gonna try to get these tree stumps out while we can still get the tractor in here. There's another one. Are you driving the tractor? Let me help! Run! Look at our freaking garden! Defense if I've ever seen one. Guys, the garden fence is complete. I am so excited, I'm so happy. I'm very impressed with our work here. 
We learned a lot for next time. This was free 99, once again, free. The only thing I bought were the wire, was the wire and it was nine bucks. And so I am really happy with it. We'll see how long it lasts, it's pretty sturdy. And I just can't wait for spring to get here, summer, and hopefully this is the best garden we've ever had. It won't be hard to compete with our past gardens. If you're new here, please subscribe, like this video, comment what you want to see more of, and we will see you next time.